Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my music for my channel and I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Mixcraft 6 because that's what I use for making my music. There are a lot of other good programs out there but I find this one the easiest and best to use at the moment for me at least. Okay, um, right now I made a loop about 5 minutes ago of just a little electronic piece with the four main components I usually put in a song. Obviously I add a lot more layers and effects and uh, mix it a lot better, but this is just an example. So we have the drum track, we have the bass track, we have the rhythm slash melody, and we have the lead track. Uh, you'd probably be surprised about how much thought actually goes into this, because <laughs> Um, some people seem to think that musicians just kind of spit stuff out and they don't know anything about music, which is not usually the case. I don't know if there's anyone that does that, but they sure aren't me. Okay, first of all, uh, depending on how you compose your songs, I usually go rhythm first, but just for the sake of it, I will show you drums first. This is the little drum track I put on it. So as you can see, that's a very basic loop. Now, if you're wondering how to create that, what you would do is, if you had an empty song, you would right-click in this area where it will usually have a whole list of audio tracks already set there. Right-click, Insert Track, Virtual Instrument Track. Then you would click on this little keyboard, which takes you to the instrument selection screen. Then scroll down, go down to percussion, drum kits. The particular drum kit I used was the nine inch drums. So I'll quickly look for them. There they are. Right there. And if you want to quickly test, you click on musical typing. <laughs> settings of the instrument there. Okay, next you'll want to record. Uh, I'll just mute all these other ones so you can only hear the drums I'm laying down. So you'll just record something random like and uh, probably really out of time as you can see that is extremely out of time but that doesn't matter because I usually just do that so I have my lane set up uh, if I say anything these guys don't understand that's fine um, it's just part of the program or music references it's not that important for this particular tutorial to know everything that I'm saying. Okay. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just adjusting everything so it is in time and so it will sound in time. So I'm drum track down. So now that you have the drum track, you're obviously going to want to add um, some bass or some rhythm or some lead. I wouldn't really suggest adding lead to last, even though that was actually the second thing I added for this loop, which was really, really a weird pattern for me. So I'll go to the bass first, and I'll show you what the bass sounds like. sounds like now. Uh, get bass track like that. You do the same thing that you did with the 9 inch drums but uh, you can make it easier for yourself if you just duplicate it and then 
you go and you pick your instrument again, just go to the one on bass, one select, whatever you want. Uh, I won't bother making another layer because there's no point and it will just take more time. Let me show you much. Okay, so what I've done is I've laid out a particular uh, set of lines which are just single notes done in the bass. Uh, that's because I have this in, uh, what was it? I think it was D minor? Yeah, D minor, I think. <laughs> so I have everything in D minor. I've got the bass lines in D minor. Uh, once again, I hope. <laughs> I didn't really check because it's just a test. I mean, not a test, I'm an example, sorry. <laughs> so you have the bass line, and once you do the bass line, you could move on to the rhythm line, which sounds by itself, sounds like this. very like badass or anything but gets the job done once again same sort of thing with the bass you do the same thing but for the rhythm um, just if you don't know about music theory and you, you don't know how to match up the notes just keep placing notes in different spots like switch around a bit and you'll soon figure out what sounds right you know usually it sounds really out of place when um, you don't have the right note in your chord uh, for rhythm I, I would suggest using chords you don't have to you could use just single notes but it's gonna end up sounding a lot more like a lead rhythm if you just use single notes yeah now um, my favourite, well for this loop at least, would be the lead. And here it is by itself. So yeah, you have that and all together it sounds like particular loop by themselves none of these sound really fantastic that's mostly because I spent about 10 minutes on this loop and that's it but um, all together it sounds okay um, for the lead depending on what genre you're doing all these apply to orchestral um, orchestral instruments and everything as well and electric guitar and whatnot but um, yeah depending on what genre you're doing is depending on what kind of tone and stuff you're gonna want for your lead I went for a very digital sounding lead because of my song and people spamming me on Facebook, very helpful. <laughs> um, when you do the lead, definitely try and keep two similar notes to what you used in the rhythm, otherwise it's going to sound really weird. Uh, it just depends on what you do it, what, how you do it. Um, it's always good to experiment with lead. I wouldn't suggest just being really linear with it. It's not going to sound that good if it's exactly the same as your bass line or your rhythm. But uh, you can get some really good stuff just by changing some of the timings and cutting up the notes. Okay. Hopefully that will help any of you start making songs um, I know this isn't the best loop ever but it's just an example um, what else uh, I'll be posting more songs don't forget to leave suggestions for songs you would like to hear from me like different genres and the type of tone you like to hear like you might like drum and bass that sounds really spooky or like um, really heavy bass in an electronic song or you might really like dubstep or something which I'm, I'm not that into dubstep but I, I might experiment with it maybe just depends <laughs>